Welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to type for you caddis larva. The hook I'm going to use is size 14 nymph hook. And this is straight hook. You can also use cut hook. Works really good as well. I'm going to add some lead wire to add some weight. I'm going to stop about one eye length behind the eye of the hook. <clears throat> I'm going to use some black mini thread 6 out. I'm going to secure this wire in place. I'm going to make some wraps back and forth and leave this tag that I'm going to use for the rib later on. Now, for the body I like to use the simple yet effective way to make this fly and that's a green yarn instead of dubbing and this is just the yarn that old ladies would use for making socks and feathers and that kind of stuff I'm gonna wind that down the band and I'm gonna Go back up. I'm gonna stop right where I started to wind the lead wire. I'm gonna start making the body. this yarn as you can see there's some fibers already sticking out so just like with dubbing you can use velcro to brush the yarn and get that buggy look and uh, there's little lags at the bottom I'm gonna clean this up Now I'm going to counteract this thread. the waist. Now for the thorax I'm going to use yarn again. So as you can see only one material to tie the fly. And this one is going to be black. You can use uh, you can tie it in dark brown. I'm gonna wrap a little bit over the green body. I'm gonna make some turns right here. Good enough. Start the thread again. Cut the waist. 
And since I tracked like a workbench, now I'm going to take some Velcro. I'm going to brush those fibers down. them short and that will represent the little legs in the water. And I'm gonna trim all the fibers that are sticking on the top. I'm gonna cut them all the way. Yeah. Here we have Caddis larva, fast, simple way to tie, and it's still effective and it's gonna catch a fish. I hope you liked my video. Thank you for watching. Feel welcome to subscribe, leave comments, and type lines.